What's up guys, it's your favorite twins and today we are listening to Noah Khan's third studio album, Stick Season. We were introduced to Noah through listening to your request and we started actually with the title track, yeah. Stick Season, and we absolutely loved it. So it kind of piqued our interest to listen to the full body of work. The album was put out on October 14th, 2022. So it is safe to say oh. that we're a little late, <laughs> but it's okay, better late than never, right? Like Julian said, we loved Stick Season as yes. a song and it did pique our interest to hear what the rest of the album sounds like. I also love this album cover. Khan began writing the album in Vermont in 2020 during the pandemic and says it's an album for the folks who stuck around out of choice or out of responsibility. This album is for the restless dreamers, creating universes in their heads. I hope these stories mean to you what they do to me. Very personal, okay? I feel like that time was a very reflective time for a lot of us. I'm reading here that the album focuses on Khan's adolescence in his Vermont hometown and the struggles of trying to make it out. Mm. He sheds light on the mistakes, regrets, and relationships as he sacrificed to become the man that he is today. So that's very intriguing. Yeah, me. You guys know that we love to analyze music. We love music that means something. We say this all the time, but music really has the power to heal um, and the power to relate, okay? So we appreciate those artists that can sometimes put what we want to say or what we feel into words perfectly. It's the new year and a great time to work on yourself. For us, we have some personal goals that we want to hit. For me, I'm healing my inner child. And I am rediscovering myself. I'm learning to embrace change. And I am learning to honor myself first. And while there are many ways to accomplish these things, we found one of the most effective to be therapy. Whether it's signs of depression, stress, or anger management, a therapist can help you create smart goals and give you long-lasting tools to use in your everyday life. When your mind is full of thoughts, it helps sometimes to talk to someone that can help you sort them out. The sponsor of today's video is BetterHelp. Whether you prefer to be over the phone, video chat, or speak through messaging, BetterHelp provides all these options, prioritizing your comfortability. BetterHelp can match you to over 30,000 therapists in their network based on your needs, preferences, and location. In most cases, you'll be matched with a therapist within 48 hours. Quick. To get started, you'll fill out a questionnaire that'll ask you questions based on the challenges you're going through and what kind of therapist you'd like. From there, you'll be matched. And one of the best things is that you can schedule therapy sessions at a time that's most convenient for you. You make time for everything else. Make time for yourself. I cannot stress enough how important that is, yes. okay? There's things you'll never be able to go through life without, and that's your mind, your body, and your soul. Feed all <laughs> three, okay? Prioritize yourself. That is the most important thing yes. you can do. Mental health is important. We are huge advocates for therapy, and we believe that when you take the time for yourself, there's a certain glow. Yes, there's that a glow. You have, okay? you know, th because there are some things that you may not be able to discover on your own that somebody else can kind of pull out of you. And yes. to make those discoveries, it's just, it's an awesome feeling. It's beautiful. And with therapy, there are times where you'll gain a better understanding of yourself Absolutely. that'll help you better navigate the challenges you may face. And while we're encouraging you, we'd also love to help you get started. Join over 4 million people who used BetterHelp to start living a healthier, happier life by clicking the link in our description or visiting betterhelp.com slash Bascom Twins. When clicking this special link, yes. you'll be given 10% off of your first month. So please take advantage, help yourself. That's all we can advocate. We all need help sometimes. So why not get some better help? And of course, make sure to follow us on all of our social media. We'd love to connect with you guys. And if you're into exclusive content and full length reactions, be sure to join our Patreon. It's a whole lot of fun and we have a lot more coming. Kids, where are they now? You build a boat, you lose your wife, oh, wow. you settle in. Where are you? Does it mean? Oh, oh, because, and, oh, oh, wait, wait, okay, I didn't, ex okay, wait. <laughs> Hold on. I, I was I was paying attention to the lyrics. Hold on. I was trying to be in the moment. But when you hit me with bursts of energy like that, I lose it. Right. Okay. There's something about a song that can get to you emotionally within the first minute. Right. And this is that song. It's cinematic. It's so like if I get too close. Oh. 
I was raised on little lights. Little lights. Bought some shit. Search online. All alone. Oh, well, maybe during the pandemic. Late life. Scared to live. Scared to die. I just love yes, that. Yes. 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 Continue with the chorus. I just I need I this know. moment. You get too close, and I'm not how you hoped till the summertime. Nice. I love that now. Like if I know that attitude of I was raised on little life. Interesting. <laughs> right, right. No, you had a no, session like real. that. You're like sick. Oh, I like that because you can add a light. It kind of gives you a glimpse into like again, like maybe like why Noah is the way that he is. Mm -hmm. And this is, and then like you kind of blame it on where you're from. Yeah. And I love the yeah. idea of like summertime and it's supposed to be really sunny, but I was yeah. raised in little light, so yeah. maybe that's why I come off so cold, cold yeah. and closed off and like I have a bunch of walls up. I then again attributing that to loneliness, right? Mm -hmm. It just oh I, I love yes. that correlation. Yes. I, I agree with you. Um I feel like this definitely serves as an introduction, not just to the album but to Noah as a person. Yeah. And considering the album is gonna be exploring themes of his life and you know the many sides I guess to him I think that was perfect that was perfect yes. and why not start with the place that you were born and raised why not start with the place that right. built you you know a lot of times that is what explains our, our experience to shape us yeah you know so I love that as an introduction yeah um, lyrically this first verse had already caught me right yeah, the whole breathe yeah. in breathe out how you been you settle down kind of like that small talk it reminded me of catching up with someone you haven't seen in a while possibly from that hometown yes because when we move out of, of where we were raised you know maybe we change we grow yeah and then when we visit we realize we no longer fit in these spaces yeah um, or we realize that we really haven't changed at all what does it all mean you do all that, what does it mean? The ups and downs yeah, of yeah. life, you know? All of these experiences. And then just the chorus. The the, the monster of a chorus. <laughs> if yeah. I get too close and I'm not how you hoped. That is something that I can relate to. That is something that I have felt where it's like, I think people fall in love with the idea yeah. of you. Yeah. Or you fall in love with the idea of a person. But when you get too close, that idea turns out to be something else. And it's not as perfect as you would imagine. Yeah. And that's why it's so important to know a person and accept people for who they are, not who you want them to be. Yes. So I, I love that yes. line. Yes. Um, and then forgive my northern attitude. Uh, you can take it as not taking accountability or you can take it as just simply being Be real like, and this saying, is what I am. listen, this is how I was raised. Yeah. You know, you may not get it, so forgive it in advance. Yeah, I love I it. Thought, I because you, was... you can't always be apologetic. No. For who you are. No. You, you kind of just want to be accepted sometimes. Like, uh, yeah. Sorry, but, but not sorry. Like, yeah. You know? I, I kind of wish that that chorus, like I said at the end, blew up. Blew I up. just needed yeah. that. I needed that. Yeah. Um, but I do think this will still be one of my favorites toward the end of the album. Yeah. It was a, a very, very good intro. Yeah. As you promised me that I was more than all the miles combined You must have kept on driving straight and left our future to the right Now I am stuck between my anger and the blame that I can't face The memories or something, even smoking weed is not a place And I am terrified of weather on the plains And I love Vermont, but it's the season of the sticks And I saw her mom, she forgot that I existed And it's alcohol till my friends come home for Christmas And I'll dream each night of some version of you Ah, this is such a good title track So I thought that if I piled something good and all my bad That I could cancel out the darkness I inherited from Dad Do you guys hear it? The way that this song connects to Northern Attitude That's what I was saying, the yeah, callback It totally connects it, it It's connects. the idea of it's I'm being reminded of everything yeah. that has made me who I am. And oh, yeah. as far as I try to run away from it, it's here. Yeah. Once called me forever, 
now you still can't call me back And I love Vermont, but it's the season of the sticks And I have my fault, but I just like to play the victim on drink pair of shoes, and I'm spinning half But that old have to do Till my friends come home for Christmas And I'll dream each night of some version of you That I may not have But I, but I didn't lose Cause I never had you, I never had it Oh I love that Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, my goodness Still a 10 out of 10, 10 song. Season of the Sticks, right? I think we said before that it's this idea of the season where you build. It's that transitional season. The chorus just tells you right there. I love Vermont, but it's the season of the Six. Sticks. <laughs> um, again, calling back to the place where he, you know, lived his life. Yeah, and I feel like it's kind of like this, damn, like, mm -hmm. this attributes to why I can't have X, Y, and Z. Yes. Where you get yeah. mad at your upbringing and, and the place that raised yeah. you because you would prefer to be different, yes. but it's so engraved in you. Absolutely. And it's just who you are that it's something... I don't want to say you can't change, but like, yeah. you know, it's, 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 it's harder than you up. thought. And it yeah. shows up in relationships and... Y'all know how we feel about six, the six Listen, season of the song Listen, if you want to know more, like I said, we have a reaction on it. But just yeah. to really recap, that that was it. That's that's how yeah. we take the song. And obviously, I think it focuses more on heartbreak, definitely. Yes. Um, and a relationship specifically. Again, when you're left with sticks, what do you build? And those yeah. sticks are kind of like the puzzle pieces. Right, that you have to make sense of, whether it's from your childhood, whether it's your current situation. So yeah. I do love as well how that carried um, into Northern Attitude. Yeah. Some lyrics I wanted to highlight was, and it's half my fault, but I just like to play the victim. I don't know if this is confirmed. This is just how I kind of took it. Blaming it on where you were born, blaming it on how you're raised, and just simply saying, that's how I am, oh. can be similar to playing the victim, victim yeah. and saying, well, I can't help it. Because it's not taking accountability. It. It's not taking full accountability that, okay, that's how I was raised, but I don't have to remain that way. Right. So right. I don't know if that's what he's trying to convey, what he's trying to say. Um, obviously, here he's talking about playing the victim in, in a relationship. <laughs> right. Um, it's still a great song, and the way that it carries over is just perfect. Really good. Okay. <laughs> okay. But you know how it gets out yeah. here. Huh. No end to cold could keep out all the cold of your atmosphere. I was raised in the cold. Yeah. I was just talking I, about I, my parents. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Right. You guys, uh, I, I, I hope you can see it. You're supposed to see it. Like, I hope you can hear it. Yeah. That's the whole yeah, point. I, He's doing this on purpose. On purpose. But yeah. I'm just always amazed by the ability to keep this thread going, oh, even I, with just a simple word. word yeah. The idea of cold. Let's you know where, what setting we are still, we're still in. in. Yeah, and, and this feels like the aftermath. We gotta keep listening, but the aftermath of a breakup and catching up after that. How have things been? Yes, the same. Yes, the same. The same. The same. Very Which cold. Is why he needs to get out. You know. Yeah. Yeah. We shake the frame of your car. Now we know your name, but not who you are. Oh. It's all okay. You got. Yes! 
that's how you end it. You know, yes. I really like that song because, again, just with him constantly referring back to his hometown, yes. seeing somebody that you were in a relationship with get up and move on, which is something that you can't seem to be able to do, mm -hmm. right? You can almost hold this bitterness mm -hmm. and this animosity and this yep. anger because you moved on something that I thought we were going to do together. And it yep. didn't end up happening that way. But instead, right. you still just have all my love. I have nothing but love for yeah. you. That's kind yeah. of the the vibe I get from mm. the song. And again, just being, like you said, being able to keep the continuity of wanting to get out of Vermont, but somehow still being pulled in it and watching other people move up. Yeah. There, there's something yes. to that. I, yes. I like that. I like that. So you're saying that outside of just a romantic relationship? But I mean, I say this obviously romantic. Right. But I'm right. saying if we want to speak about it in general, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it could be generalized as well. I feel like this song was the accountability. Taking full accountability of the fact that he's remained the same. And that this person has moved on, but he is still in the cold where he was left. Mm -hmm. But yes, I'm taking it the same way that you are. Two ways, actually. You have all my love. And I send all my love, as in it's all love. There's no bad blood. Again, I wish you all the best. I hope your scars heal. Also, you left with all oh, my love. Yes. I still love you. You still have this hold on yeah. me. Yeah. Right? Like you said, you're still under my skin. You yeah. have all the love I have to give, you have You it. have it. That was just an interesting balance of a song, yeah. and I really enjoyed it. That could potentially be one of my favorites toward the end as well. I, think I wanted so. to call out. The same thing in Northern Attitude. I love how he lets music speak for itself. The instrumentation. Yes. He lets the instrumentation yes. create the atmosphere. And so even yes. this continuous sort of guitar ukulele feel, you can tell we're still in the same place <laughs> sonically. Same. We're in a cabin. We are in a cabin. We're in a cabin. And it's cold outside. It's very And cold. there are dogs. There are dogs. There are dogs. Oh, there was heaven in your eyes. I was not baptized. Two parallel lines Everything's alright When she calls me back She calls me back Oh! oh. We're moving! I could be your sacrifice Bullshit I do not have time Me either oh. I could be an no old tattoo And I do not exist to die But if the die I'll save Hanging on to every sentence It's child the same as you that they What? They dial 8, 2, 2, 9, 9, 3, 1, 6, 7 Hey, wow They were staring in your eyes Wow Thoughts for a long time Two parallel lines Radio always talked to me And I don't get much sleep most nights I'm seeing you Ooh. called come over interesting Ooh. um hello i actually really liked that one to be honest that might be a top one for me oh wow i like it because when she calls him back mm -hmm. it almost feels like ah you're still thinking of me mm -hmm. but i still feel like it almost like it gives me hope mm. like it gives him hope okay and like when you call me back a little piece of me is like reminded like okay yeah, of what we it's have. possible but then also it lets him know that she still thinks of him obviously mm -hmm. but i feel like it's deeper than that in the sense of because he's so um complacent mm -hmm. right and apparently she's not yeah it's almost like ah oh, like you give me that hope that it's still possible but also it could be a little self a little selfish in the sense of like mm, you still have a tie here Okay. And yeah. I'm still something that can bring you back here. Yes. Since I okay. couldn't 
I wasn't able to go with you. I got you. Does that make sense? I got you. I, don't know. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna say okay. kind of the same thing. Like I think this song really speaks on their connection. Yeah. Um, even the idea of the end when he says, "Still calls me back." It right. Still calls me, thinking of all my love because you have all my love. You still yeah. call to me. Yeah. Like you still have this hold to where I can hear you almost, and I'm still with you. Even that that lyric at the end of. I was too afraid of living in your footsteps. Almost like I was too afraid of standing together, right? Mm. Because living life in someone else's footsteps or with someone else, you have to see their ups and downs. There's a yeah. lot of openness involved and a lot of vulnerability. And sometimes we run from vulnerability, yeah. right? So he, I feel like that's what he's acknowledging here. Yeah. And he brought pain upon himself, is what it looks like, mm -hmm. um, because he was too afraid. Right? Yeah. Fear can stop us from doing a lot of the things that we're meant to do yeah. and that are best for us. But really the song I think is just touching on the idea that, yeah, kind of like you were saying, the, the idea of loving someone and then just brightening your day. So far this is very cohesive. I think this was the first jump in energy, I guess you could say, that we've had. Mm -hmm. um, so I love the versatility. Yeah. I feel like it's definitely like a deep cut. Okay. Yeah, I don't know how much I'll go back. Um, but it was it was still a good song and it's keeping us in line with the story which I'm enjoying. Two parallel lines that never intersect, right? That never yeah. cross never paths never cross anymore, paths. right? I'm in the business of losing your interest. There's a coffin buried under the garden. Mm, it's was there when we got here. Be there when we leave in my house was designed to kind of look like it's crying when they mention the sad kid in the sad house on ball street you won't have to guess who they're speaking about come over of clearing out cobwebs barely big enough for my family but it feels like a fortress my mouth <laughs> was designed for my foot to fit in it all that. the worst they went missing darling with the view in oh. the morning wait oh that's outside i thought that was in the song i was like he got birds in the song i wonder if he's gonna do more I, I hope it's a big yeah come on That one was that one was really good. Someday I'm gonna be somebody people want, but I'm in the business of losing your interest. I feel like yeah. it's losing that one part of you that still gives you hope. So because it's the one thing again that still has all your love, that still mm. gives you the sense of sense of optimism. You know that if you lose it, it's done. Mm -hmm. Like you're not gonna have a streak of hope. Is what it almost feels yeah. like. So it's saying, come over and let me just remind you of. The possibility of us, the possibility of me, yeah. so what I can be, what we can be. Let me just give you a quick reminder so I don't lose you yeah. completely. Because mm -hmm. you see that, you know, that person is moving on and, and you will be left. Yeah. So it's like, ah, let me just give, let me remind you. Let me yeah. remind you of, yeah. of how I used to make you feel. Right? And hopefully that'll be enough and convince you enough to, to stay. It's just that. Just come over. There's so yeah. much power Something in come that. over, yeah. Yeah. Kind of like a plead. Yes. For... Someone to see that you're worth it. In a yes, way. I love how this kind of masked as talking about a relationship a little bit, mm -hmm. but it, it felt like he was speaking just in general to anybody mm. that will listen. Also, kind of this idea of even though he's saying someday um, things will change, Dad will strike rich. He'll always kind of be that kid. I love the line, my mouth was designed for my foot to fit in it. Because those foot and mouth moments where you probably oh, say yeah. something you shouldn't. Um, and the North, known to be very blunt sometimes, very real. So I like how he's bringing in that personal element once again. Yeah. Um, and then my house is just barely big enough for my family. But it feels like a fortress. It may not be much to y'all, but it's home to me. And yeah. it's what I know. So I love how he's also 
validating that. Yes. You know? Both silences making me nostalgic. Two sizes big, you shared in my apartment. Mm. Oh, we were kids, probably get high and crash or something stupid. Mm. You made Ohio feel just like Central Park, paper bags, drift wherever the wind blows. I love that. And mine's full of seats. Oh. Oh. The town is being gentrified and it's when you see something that you're so used to and what you've grown up with mm -hmm. and something that like you said um all of the maybe like the imperfections you've kind of found um to be uh sacred and, yeah, and makes, a little bit of yeah. a safe haven so when there's a target downtown you're mm -hmm. like what the hell is going on like you guys are destroying and a sense yeah. what kind of built me and i I don't want that new perspective. Like, yeah. I don't want... <laughs> I'm very content. Yeah. Kind of being attached to who you've been. Yes. And not interested at all in finding out who you'll be. No. Um, so, I, I totally agree with you. That's how I was taking it. Like, he was almost resentful toward this new perspective. Yeah. Like, oh, you're coming in here now thinking that you can just change things and that you're all cool. And it's... Um, and that's not going to be the case. Holding on to what you what you know. I love the line, "Minds full of receipts, that bag that blows." Think of it as just like a history. Yes. A long bag baggage. A lot of uh, transactions, right? Yeah. It seems like maybe this person that moved on from him. Yeah. Is back or telling him about all these things. Um, and excited and, about and it. And excited right? about it. And he's just like, I wish I could drag you back down. Maybe a little bit of bitterness to say you're getting too far ahead of me. Yes. I also had this idea that that is the town or where, his, where he's from speaking to him because maybe oh. he's finding a new perspective and these are the things that ring in his head. So Interesting. Very yeah, interesting. Yeah, that was a very interesting song. Yeah. I, I saw a new perspective. I'm like, oh, we're going to start changing. And it very much did not. If anything, like, we're holding on we're to holding on what to was <laughs> even more, even tighter. Super food for the worms to eat. Got our fingers to the 
that was a really I have to say I think um sixth season northern attitude and everywhere everything hold my favorite choruses because that was a really really good Ooh, chorus I have to add all my love in there but I agree with you okay I gotta agree with you I'll give you that I, I really I, enjoyed that song like just kind of holding on that that's that's what I got from it because I think Lyrically, it was very deep, but it was also very simple. Mm -hmm. And just, again, I, I I look here. I know every route in this county. Maybe that ain't such a bad thing. Mm -hmm. Right? It's just, especially coming out to a new, new perspective. Yeah. Just holding on to what you know and mm -hmm. what feels comfortable. Yeah. And in this case, it's also this person's hands. Mm -hmm. And, I mean, that note was just gorgeous. So, I, that was a highlight. Specifically, I take the chorus as a love letter to home. I take it as a love letter to Vermont. Hmm. Everywhere, everything. Everywhere in this county and everything. I, I always yeah. will have this love for where I'm from. And I enjoyed that uh, aspect of it. Yeah. Which go ties directly into New Perspective and Come Over. At Come Over, he's talking about his appreciation for his home and where he grew up. And it's saying, hey, take a peek into my world. Come visit. Yeah, yeah. And maybe you'll you'll appreciate it, it, it the too. way that I do. And that new perspective, he becomes protective of that home. Yes, yes. He becomes protective of where he grew up. And, and then, doesn't want to have a new yeah. perspective. And then everywhere, everything is, again, that appreciation. Yes. And overall love letter to it. To say that yeah. I will hold and protect you for as long as we're as here. As we're here. I think this whole album is a love letter. Because did you even say for She Calls Me Back... Could that even be about Vermont? It could. Somehow you're always dragged back always to... Always dragged back, absolutely. You know, so I think... I think so. Interesting that th this album being also a love letter to yep. Vermont. That would be... For sure. Very cool. For sure. And if that's not what it is, then we are simply offering you a new, new perspective. perspective. <laughs> Hope you caught it. I caught it. Honey, come over. Party's gone slower. We know you got sober yeah. There's orange juice in the kitchen I've been ready for you to come home Didn't think to ask you where you'd gone Why'd you go? Okay, let me just get, let me just do this real quick. This okay. this idea that I'm having. Okay. okay. Honey, come over. The party's gone slower, and no one will tempt you. We know you got sober. Fast forward to the chorus. It sounds like he's talking to this person he was with, that left, and has cleansed themselves of everything toxic, everything that maybe Noah is still so dealing like, with, yes. and still has because of this hometown. And he's saying we have orange juice as a supplement. Because you've changed, but I still want you to come back. But you're afraid that if you come back, you're going to revert. And I'm you're trying to give you that reassurance that, hey, if you come back, we have orange juice. I just need to see you. Yes, I agree 110%. You're definitely on the right track. I also feel like it paints that picture. Um, I'll drink till my friends come home for Christmas. I feel yes, like yes. Um, that's within the same... Yeah, even friends. I didn't even thought about the idea of more than one person yeah. moving so on. So your friends that have changed. That loneliness. Your friends have changed. That loneliness. Are you are you drinking because you're lonely? Right. But then I'll drink until my friends come home. For right. And when they get there, I'll stop. I have to stop. Now I no longer have a reason. We're we're doing a lot of reading deep, yeah, but, but I, I never want to. We never want to label something that isn't. isn't. This is just this. theory. <laughs>
pictures. Wow. I feel like with orange juice again, hinting at the crash, and it seems like it was a crash due to being under the influence. Mm -hmm. How that could really um, change your course of life. Yes. And and how you decide to go moving forward, it really is a huge wake up call. And so I love the story that was told here. It's kind of in a sense. Offering oddly a new perspective, and I love the line you didn't put those bones in the ground. Mm. It's kind of being that friend, right? That is kind of talking you off the ledge, yeah, and being like, Hey, like it's okay, give yourself some grace. Also, how he explained the behavioral changes, so again, not drinking, um, the Lord and Savior. When, when a lot of times with something life altering, oh, yeah. Yeah. happens right where it's putting your face you do turn to a higher power Absolutely. right yeah. because you need something that kind of centers you this was a good one yeah this was this, this was nice yeah it, it left me kind of still analyzing it though like we were saying earlier that you know the whole narrative of being that person that hasn't really moved on yeah but it's still kind of creating the safe space for the person that has yes kind of shifting because it's like maybe this is very literal maybe the person singing noah's perspective has chosen sobriety as well Right? Mm. Maybe there's more of a control there to where yes. it is a safer space. Yes. If that makes sense. Absolutely. So I don't know, this one has kind of left me not puzzled, but I'm just like, hmm, there are a lot of there's different perspectives. To, yeah. Mm. Yeah, this, one, this one's interesting. Darling, speak to me, but don't you say a word. Remember telling me that you thought you were cursed. I'm in love with every song you've ever heard If I could lose you, I would and fire mm, If I could lose I say love is fast asleep on a dirt road with your head on my shoulder oh. Strawberry wine and all the time we used to have those things I missed, no, I'm never coming back. Switched. No thing finds a man like love that makes him soft. I see you. If I was empty space and you were formless, shape we'd fit. I like that. pretty one this was pretty um very that two minute outro um on one hand you want to be like okay but on the other hand when you look at the lyrics and you know you read yes. uh, the line if i could lose you i would we buried your bones in plywood noah spoke on this line and said i wrote this about my grandfather spreading his father's ashes and the extraordinary act of love that comes with doing so the rest of the song flashes back to the beginning of an imaginary relationship. That made yeah. it feel like a memorial. That made it feel like remembrance. Memorial, giving yeah. that space for some silence. Yes. And this is what I mean by Noah letting the music speak for itself. Letting the instrumentation create the atmosphere. Absolutely. So I appreciated that. Strawberry wine and all the times we used to have. Those things I miss but Noah never coming back. If you fla flash back to um, orange juice... Yeah. And the idea of changing and how things are not going to go back to way, the way that they were. Yeah. I love how they go hand in hand, which a lot of these songs do. No thing defines a man like love that makes him soft. So true. So seeing his, yes. you know, that vulnerability. Their father spread his ashes. Yeah. It's, it's like you said, there's, there's something so vulnerable and intimate yes. about that. So now looking at the line, if I could lose your eye, I would because... Yeah. I would want to have something that intimate and that close between yeah. the two of us. So, yeah. again, like Jordan said, you know, that ending, when you take away the fact that it is two minutes of just pure instrumental and ooze, mm -hmm. and you really ooze. allow yourself to feel it, it, it's a beautiful thing. For sure. And then the rest of it just kind of detailing another relationship and being infatuated and in love with everything a person does. Again, off orange juice and just wanting that person to come back and come over. So, yeah. I like how he always... Adds that element of love. Yeah. 
So I took my medication and I poured my trauma out Ooh. on some sad eyed middle aged new leather couch. Okay. And we argued about Jesus. Said I'm cured. Okay. What a way to start a song. And I did beat up my anger. Still angry at my oh. parents for what their parents did to them. Wow. Ooh. But I ignore things and I move sideways. Oh, this one's gonna hit me. End of the wow. day, and everyone's healthy. I'm terrified that I might never have met me. But oh, I spent my savings at a Lulu. Now I'm suffering in style. Hey. It's pain so damn impatient. Ain't like it's got a place to be. Wow. Everyone's growing, and everyone's healthy. Yes, I'll try And if all my life is wasted Yeah, it's better to die numb Than feel it all Oh, oh if all my time was wasted Come on. At the end of the day, Lord knows There are worse ways to stay alive Guess I'll try. Okay, so I think that one's my favorite. And I think we'll add a like. I did already. Okay. Um, I love growing sideways because I think this is about not processing mm -hmm. and not taking the time to actually heal. Yeah. Um, and coping in other ways, whether that's drugs, drinking, yes. etc. Putting things and pushing things under the rug, right? Sweeping things under the rug and not allowing you to Feel the 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 motions. Yes. Right. So I love that line. I'm afraid that I might never have met me. I'm never. I'm afraid that I've never met me in a happy state. Mm -hmm. Right. And I'm so used to. It's not the real me. It's right. not. It's not the me that has really let go. It's me that still like holds on. Yeah. And puts up a little bit of a facade with yeah. a smile when behind closed doors I'm suffering and I'm coping in ways that I know are not for sure healthy. So oh this one. Yeah. This writing was great on this yes, one. I think <laughs> and this is vocally. one of my favorites too. I, I agree with everything you're saying. I think it's definitely one of my favorites. I sadly can relate to it yeah. in more ways than one. Right. Uh, I love the theme of being avoidant. Yes. Right. Whether you're being avoidant of other people and getting close or being avoidant of yourself. I love that line too. I may have never met me because I feel the only way you truly meet yourself is when you spend time with yourself. So, right. And one way of doing that is by processing your emotions. Yes. How did I react to that? How did that make me feel? It's the only way that you know your triggers. It's the only way you know what you like versus what you don't like. 110%. It's the only way you know how you've been affected and the only way that you can make sense of yourself at the end of the day. Yeah. So revisiting that theme of how we show up in life and, yes. and knowing ourselves inside and out, this felt like the explanation to that. Growing sideways, right? I'm taking it as like growing that way. Yeah. But growing like this means staying at the same level. Stagnant. You're never growing up. You're never growing down. You're just staying stagnant and you're growing that way maybe sideways because this is your problem and you keep growing that, that way, way further and further away comparing yourself to everyone out there maybe comparing yourself yes. to those that have moved on yes right those friends that visit during christmas that right? have actually taken the time to cope with what they've been through absolutely um, um this one was definitely a a favorite for sure Sailing away to a place I'm afraid of The dawn isn't here, the sun hasn't rose The last that I heard you were down in New Orleans I drink till I drown and I smoke till I'm burning Your hands are all over my sin But the wreckage of you I no longer is adding the ash of the home that I started the fire with starts to return to the end. Oh, I love that. Oh, wow. I'm leaving this town and I'm Decompose. changing my address. I know that you're everything. Wow. If you want. Okay, well, there's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. There's a lot. I'm leaving this town and I'm changing my address. So moving on, I know that you'll come, come over if you want. It's like we're kind of we're kind of starting to recap the album a little bit. This yeah. feels like that point where maybe he's deciding 
Because mm. the next song is called Homesick. Orange juice, strawberry wine, and especially growing sideways, it seems like he's now awake to his habits. Yeah. And the reason behind them. Yes. Kind of like doing that inner work and, and healing that inner child in a way. Yeah. He's a lot of references to childhood and childhood, growing up. Yes. So now we're at a place where we're realizing, okay, this isn't working for me. Yeah. And I need to move on forward and afford it's not halloween but the ghost to dressed up as your nose how to haunt it's the nose how to haunt oh i love that i did not know how he was gonna flip it like Me that too, i know i was like what is halloween the ghost anything? yeah the ghost of you in the song for the grave that i had done mm. the grave there's a murder yeah. of crows in the low crows again the crows are we just crows to you now? Was that orange juice? I'm losing myself in the tiniest oh. objects I'm seeing oh. my life on a screen. I'm hearing oh. your voice in a strange foreign language. But the wreckage of you, I no longer reside in the bridge of oh. the falls. That's so beautiful. I'm leaving this town and I'm changing my address. I know but I only tell the truth when I'm sure that I'm lying, so I'm sitting sail once again. Interesting. I that was a very good song. I okay. only tell the truth when I'm sure that I'm lying, so I'm set in sail once again. Khan says this one was kind of nonsense, but I think the way to interpret it is that it could be somebody understands they can no longer trust their own word and won't be able to be honest with a potential significant other, so they move on with their lives. Okay, and that's fair. Yeah. The way I took it is I only tell the truth when I'm sure that I'm lying is when you catch yourself and you no longer make sense to yourself. To yourself, yeah. And you're like, okay, I'm lying to myself now. I can't even make sense of this. It's time to be honest and tell the truth. Mm -hmm. So I'm set in sail once again could mean I'm either running or I'm going to try again to venture out. Out and actually. Yes. Yeah. Is how I took that. But wow, the idea of this, you as a ghost, the ghost of you keeps showing up in all these little ways, whether it's a reminder of my habits and where they keep me, whether it's the reminder of losing you, mutual friends, it could be anything. Anything. Really, there yeah. it could be anything that reminds you, a, a place that you used to go to, the drive-in theaters, the crash, yeah, yeah. the road, it could be anything. Maybe he's also being haunted by not moving on, not growing. Yes. And that's what the main haunt is. The first line. I'm sailing away to a place I'm afraid of. Something new, yeah. Away from here. Yeah. So that makes sense. That brings the song full Bru circle. Full, full circle by the end of it. Mm. I have to say, I think Halloween, I gotta add a light to Halloween. Because Halloween was Yeah, deserved, very deserved. Good. The chorus, though, is what I wanted to dig into. The wreckage of you I no longer reside in, and the bridges have long since been burnt, like you said. The ash of the home that I started the fire in, it starts to return to the earth. So again, I was with you, right? Yeah. Until you essentially died. Yeah. My home. This this state I've been in where I grew up lasted as long as it needed to. Yeah. And now I'm going to move on and I'm going to leave. I oh. I'm leaving this town and I'm changing my address. And I also take Vermont as a state of being. Yes. Yes. So a state of mind. Yes. Right? And oh I like I that. agree with that. That's like good. it's it's like it's a metaphor. Yeah. It's a metaphor. Two months since you got back. How have you been? Are you bored yet? What? Wait, because the story is coming full circle. Well, I'm tired of dirt roads named after high school. Friends, grandfathers, and motherfuckers here. Damn. Oh. I'm so damn sore, I swear I feel my organs failing. Wow. I stopped caring about a month ago, since then it's been smooth sailing. Y'all are not gonna get it. Oh, this is good. I will die in the house that I grew up in. 
I'm home. I'm home sick. Yes, I'm, I'm home sick. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. I I love this. I love it because I get out of like as a body of work, this is so well rounded because this album has been described as a love letter to New England, and on this album, he has given you every feeling you could possibly have about where you grew up in. He's appreciated it. Yes. Right. He's defended it. Yes. He's told you what's great about it and loved it. Yes. Now he's kind of telling you what he. Dislikes about Dislikes it. Dislikes about it. What he needs to get away from. It's just yes. the growing up experience, and he's, he's doing this beautifully. And it's taken such a turn, I think, because yeah. it, it's the idea of growing up. I think that we started in his adolescence, right? We started in his adolescence of, and, and not just adolescence and age, but your mental I think state, mentally, yes. your maturity, yes. and your outlook on things. And yes. how as life goes on, you learn these different lessons and have these different different experiences that offer a what new perspective. perspective. The new perspective he was fighting, he's On now embracing. And right, because now he's he's embracing it. The reality is, no, I actually will die in the house in the that house I grew up in. Apartment. But that's not a that's not a good thing. Not anymore. Nothing changes. Everybody just yeah. stays here, and it's like, it's oh same. my god, is there? There's no breath of fresh air, right? None. So I have to say, growing sideways, Halloween <laughs> and homesick. Yeah, that run, absolutely phenomenal. The storytelling, yes. how this album is about to come full circle. So, so well thought out. And I, I love the, the level or layer of anger here. You know, this is the first yeah, time I've heard was fuck. Saying the, whole, the yeah, entire the, album. The, yeah, it was strong. Yeah, it was, it was strong. And so, sonically, this album is definitely taking you through loops. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say goodbye. Oh, what a... So good. It only falls into place when you fall into pieces. Okay. You find love that lasts a while. Do you lose the reason saying, God, I'm alive? I really like this album, I think it's so good, and it's flowing so effortlessly, and I really like his voice. Don't know whether you want a place in the coast of the country. You can't stay here, it's hard to face, and it feels too ugly, like a fire inside. Okay. It's like I'm still here with you. Past coming back with the light of the morning. Look down on myself like a patient in surgery, and I used to watch my mother move. Mm, I love that line, this idea of constantly working on yourself. Sometimes we work on ourselves out of hate for who we are. Oh, mm. yes. It's not out of self-love. No. It's not out of I want the best for you. It's out of I hate you and I want to change you. And I want to change you now. So looking yeah. down on yourself like a patient in surgery, surgery as if there's something wrong with you Deal. that needs to be fixed. Boom. Love that line. In the past box of photos, I ripped myself open on the bed and I'm wondering that this is me. How this but hoping can I fix what is broken? I love this, this structure though. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say goodbye. Mm. Right this course. It's like I'm still I love music. I love wow. music. It only falls into place when you're falling to pieces. It is only when you are falling apart that you decide to pick yourself up. Yes. It just sucks that, like you were saying, it's not out of self-respect and self-love. It's out of self-hatred. A lot of the time. It's like, I hate staring at this person. I don't want to face it genuinely. I just want to, I, I want to face so I can stop staring yes. at it. So the problem stops, you know, looking at yes. me in the face. But you, you know? can't just look at a problem and fix it. You have to look at the pieces. Yes. So this idea that yes. it only falls into place when you're falling apart because only when you fall apart do you learn how to put yourself back, back together. together. And through that process of putting yourself back together, you learn all the pieces. You learn yes. what fits and doesn't fit. And I, I love that concept. That beautifully uh, illustrated the struggle sometimes. I, I feel, it feels it. like I'm still here with you as in the setting. But still here mentally, mentally and in mindset. And, and yeah. Air in my lungs till the road begins. Leave their homes again. Oh, this has to hold on. For a bit. Feel the rush of my blood I'm 
17 again I am not scared of death mm -hmm. I've got dreams again Fuck Ah! Uh, fuck Fuck Cause I feel like I'm about to cry uh, Wait, wait, wait Why would you say that? Wait, 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 wait Why would you do this? Hold on Oh my god <laughs> What is going on with music? I am I'm not, literally like, stopping literally, myself from crying. Yeah, like I can see it. I am not scared of death. I've got dreams again. I've allowed myself oh, to really? die, essentially. Okay. And I'm embracing Ooh. the fact that I do have dreams and I can acknowledge them. Uh, that was a beautiful be lyric. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! We're good. I can already see how it's bringing the story Sorry. together. Oh, oh wow. Okay. And there's me. Something as simple as that. What? Um. And everything still. The last song still. I'm back between villages. Between my past, present, and future. Yeah. You're in the present, living in the moment now? I need a. Let me see something. Hmm. Okay. I absolutely loved that song. I think that was a beautiful closer to the album. The view between villages. How could you describe that? Because it's like, you, you're you over the bridge, you passed it, right? So it's the view in the middle point where you're looking at your new beginning, mm -hmm. but you're looking at what built you. Yeah, past, right? present, future. Past, present, future. Um, oh. When he said the death of my dog, it made me look at the cover. Mm. I feel like the cover, cause the, the dog's got a stick in his mouth. Mm-hmm. They're looking at the dog, almost as if the dog has moved on, and that is as a him ghost? still- Yes. Ooh, don't make me cry. Yes. Fuck. <laughs> wait, 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 give me a second. So wait, 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 wait. Like, do you okay. see that? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> That's what make it more emotional. House. Yes. Past. He's in the middle. Present. Yes. Dog. Future. It, 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 I feel like those it's, three points is what I'm taking from the cover. Yes, it's, it's like, like the a three points. Symbol of something. Yes, yes. Taking those sticks and building. So I, that that line just stuck out to me. I think, I think that song, the stretch of my skin, growing. Yeah, yeah. It just summed up the album so they perfectly. They bury their dogs in their garden. The view between villages really did do a wonderful job of summing up what stick season was about. And mm. the journey it took to get here. That was definitely a, a beautiful closer. Yeah, I, I think I'm I'm sold on the idea of that in between is is learning to live in the moment and live with who you are now. Yeah. But not being closed off to changing or closed off to your past and not being avoidant. Essentially, that's the lesson to not avoid life. Don't avoid change. Don't avoid anything be open to it all yeah. even here throughout the song he's acknowledging what he feels so instead of ignoring his, his emotions he's acknowledging it he's acknowledging that he feels the rush of his blood and he's 17 again he acknowledges yeah. that he's not scared of death and he has dreams again he acknowledges the fact that he's yeah, angry like, again so yeah, now we're acknowledging our and emotions now, yeah, like you said, and those what pieces. is yes. triggering them so stick season by noah khan did it come out over a year ago yes are we just now sitting down to listen to it yes but that's okay. Sometimes, Sometimes greatness has to find you. It has to find it you. It has to come to you. It has to fall in your life. At the right moment. At the right moment. This is not our go-to genre. This no, is not our go-to sound. I was very scared. It's, it's, we were scared. Yes. We were scared. How many of us were scared here? Two hands. I was trembling before we could yes. play. But it ended up being a beautiful body of work. It almost reminds me of how we felt with Taylor's folklore. Vocally, again, besides six season, didn't really, you know, didn't really know his range, right? Yeah. My man can sing. This man knows how to tell a story. <laughs> Where you are with Northern Attitude, which being content in mm -hmm. 
your complacency to then growing sideways, which is a little bit more than halfway into the album, mm -hmm. realizing er, things aren't progressing when they should be mm -hmm. in my life. Mm -hmm. To then have Homesick Still and The View Between Villages to yeah. really embrace the idea of growth and moving on and moving forward. Oh, you have to give tens where they're due because yeah. that's how you make an album. I love how he tied this together from beginning to end. The way that he wrapped this up definitely made the story clear. Summed up to be what felt like a journey. Yeah. Honestly, I think that we're all on in our own different ways, which is what makes it relatable. I feel like it was a story of healing. Uh, a lot of inner child work, and that's something that I'm passionate about. Yes. Um, so, I love that there's some promotion here of that. Something solid has fallen to pieces, sticks, and you are now forced to put them back together and learn something from it. Yeah. And when you look at all the sticks in front of you, that's the only way you can. So I, I, yeah. I love that so much. I yeah. thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah. So again, Noah, your voice really surprised me from the first listen to Stick Season. Yes. I love how he has a voice that's very consistent, but yes. he knows how to keep it exciting. Noah, I just want to commercialize you for one song because I'm confident that you could give me a dance pop record that would be a hit. Something EDM. I can hear it. I just need one. Let me commercialize you for one second. One second. Thank you guys for recommending it. I mean, yeah. when we did listen to your requested song, that's the one artist that you guys are like, oh my god, Noah Khan, like, yeah. do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. So we're like, you know what? Let's sit down and actually listen to it. You know, Noah, I, I'm interested to see where else you go from here. I see here that there's a stick season forever. It's 30 songs. Thank you so much. Yeah. Um, wow. This looks like all three versions uh, put together. I might have to get into... I might have to listen to, to these right here. I might have to get into all three. No fun. As always, we'd love to know what you guys thought about stick season. Let us know your top five down below in the comments. And remember, we all need help sometimes, but why not get some better help by clicking the link in our description. If you enjoyed watching this react, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on your post notifications, that way you know when we upload, and we'll catch you guys on the next one. <laughs>